Hi, this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. In this video, we're going to continue our Crystal Ubuntu installation by optionally removing the fan and the hard drive from our Apple TV. This is not strictly necessary to run Crystal Ubuntu, but it's really nice because it reduces the heat and eliminates the noise that's generated by your Apple TV. Since we boot from the USB thumb drive, we no longer need the hard drive inside the Apple TV. But if you're going to remove the hard drive, you also need to modify two system files on your Crystal Ubuntu thumb drive. You'll need to do that from Linux, and there's a guide at quicksventure.com on how to do that. So, let's get started. We're going to need to remove the base of the Apple TV once again, so lift up the corners and use a Torx T10 bit to pull out the four screws. If you'd like, you can remove the footing entirely by peeling it away from the sticker. I've done that with this one and just put it back because uh, I didn't destroy it. Oftentimes when you remove the footing, you will end up also uh, ripping it or tearing it because the sticky tape is uh, attached pretty solidly in some places. Set aside the four screws and you'll notice that there's actually four extra screws underneath the footing and those are what hold the hard drive in. You can remove the hard drive entirely, but I'm just going to leave it attached to the bottom of the Apple TV and remove the IDE cable. This is because the uh, screws that are attached to the hard drive are slightly smaller than the Torx T10 bit that I have, and I'm having a hard time actually getting them off of the uh, Apple TV itself. But if you remove the four corner screws, they work just fine with the Torx T10 bit, and then you can once again lift the back of the Apple TV and rock it forward and pull it out. This Apple TV already has a Broadcom decoder board in it and all I'm going to do is pull the IDE cable off the hard drive and set it aside. I'm going to plug the or I'm going to put the case back on and leave the Apple TV hard drive on the case just not plugged in anymore. The next step is, again, completely optional. I choose to do it because I found that the fan doesn't actually do anything. You'd think that this is a heat sink on top of the CPU, but in fact, the CPU is on the other side of the motherboard. The fan is just moving some air around inside the Apple TV. But with the hard drive detached, you've reduced the amount of heat that's being generated so much that I no longer think you need the fan at all. It just makes noise and doesn't even move a whole lot of air. I've been running a fanless, hard driveless Apple TV for over a year now, and I've been very happy with it. You're going to use something to cut the tape on the side of the fan. I'm just going to use a, a piece of metal and strip it down the side, and that cuts the tape. Now, all that's holding the fan in are four little rubber risers on the corners. You can try and lift it out very carefully without damaging the risers, but since I'm not going to be using the fan ever again, I'm just going to remove the power lead and lift the fan straight up, not really worrying too much about the fact that I'm going to break those rubber headers. And they'll thread right through the uh, little holes on the fan. And what happens is the uh, little rubber tops uh, rip off, and that's okay. And I'm just going to take this fan and pretty much throw it away. And as you can see, there really isn't anything right underneath that fan. You're not exposing a raw chip or anything like that. The fan really isn't necessary. So, now that we've removed the fan and the hard drive, all we have to do is put everything back together again. My personal suggestion is to take this footing and see if you can just remove it completely. And then there's all this double-sided tape. If you can just uh, sit with a putty knife and scrape that off, you know, putty knife and some Windex. It'll take a little while, but if you can get it off, you'll end up with a nice, uh, nice shiny base that you can add a couple of little feet to to lift it off of the uh, countertop or shelf that you're going to put your Apple TV on. In this video, I'm just going to put the uh, original case right back on and leave the rubber footing attached. So, put it on the same way you got it off. Slide in the uh, back first, and it should rock in nicely. Just make sure that you get... Uh, you're going to need to put that IDE header somewhere so that it doesn't uh, get in the way. In fact, I'm just going to pull the cable off entirely. 
So the hard drive is still inside, just pulled the cable off. Done, and we're just going to put the uh, screws back in. The two shorter screws go in the back, and the longer screws go in the front. So now that you've removed the hard drive and removed the fan, you just need to, again, like I said, modify the system files on the uh, on the thumb drive itself. It's uh, pretty simple to do. And then plug the thumb drive in and boot your Apple TV. It'll be nice and quiet. And with any luck, it'll even be a little bit cooler than it was before. So this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. Thanks for watching.